What's happening? It's your boy Casey, and welcome back to another episode of Crispy Eats. I'm really excited to introduce you to a new guest to the show. Her name is Mary Bell. Hello. And what's exciting is today's episode is going to be the Mexican edition. So we will be exploring two dishes, Mexican ceviche. If you haven't seen the first video, Peruvian ceviche, click back, look at that video, check it out. Anyways, we're doing Mexican ceviche and the second dish that we're doing is tacos de birria. So we're currently here in San Jose. And what is this place called? La Costa. They're known for the ceviche. So let's test it out. Let's see how it is. Transition phase in three, two, one. We're here at La Costa and someone we just ordered. We just ordered tostada de ceviche. In this case, we ordered a tostada de ceviche de camarón. Y we have ordered a tostada de ceviche de pescado blanco, como ven aquí. And what do you see on here? So here we have uh, marinated white meat with uh, onion, tomato, cilantro, some cucumber. They sprinkle in some salt, some lime, and then you can add some Valentina sauce or whatever hot sauce you prefer. Nice, and then what do we have on this one? Same thing here, we have some shrimp with, uh, we have cucumber, tomato, and some onion. Again, same thing, we add a little bit of salt, a little bit of Valentina, uh, whatever hot sauce you'd like. Enjoy with uh, the Ritz crackers or the crispy crackers here, or a tor uh, tostada, which is from corn. The Mexican ceviche, is it originated from Mexico? From what I understand, it's actually originated from Peru, and it's made its way to Mexico. Fun fact, I didn't know that. I think we're ready to dive in, and let's let's see how it let's is. Do it. All right, let's let's, let's go, go in. Okay. Put the Valentina, get the spice. We're gonna have the Valentina. Okay, we're gonna sprinkle it on here. Yes. Lift it up, lift it up. Let's let's show the people. Oh, Ooh, okay, spice it up, spice right, it up. Let's do this other one. And this one is a shrimp one. All right, and at, at La Costa here, they actually do a really good job of putting a good portion. Let's cheers, ready? All right, here we go. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. So, you have the taste of the lime. It's perfect for a cold day, like a hot, sunny day, or something. Such as right now. <laughs> like today's a sunny day, so we can enjoy this, typically mm. on the summer, or just any day, really, so enjoy. We're having a great old time at Costada. What's really interesting about this is there's so much happening right now. Compared to with Peruvian ceviche, it's a little bit simpler. But like right here, you're packed with your vegetables. Mm -hmm. And you can really taste the concentrate of the of the lime. Mm -hmm. I definitely can tell the difference. Mm -hmm. And honestly, this is not bad. This is my actually my first time really? having Mexican ceviche. Mm -hmm. No way. Mm -hmm. Don't be shy, you know, just making a mess because it's just delicious. I think I made the wrong decision wearing a white suit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be real careful. <laughs> yeah. Even mine, could I try that one? Yeah. What kind of meat is this? This is um, basically it's white meat, but so usually like they could be bass, typically. One thing you'll notice here is that the tostada with ceviche with camarón, they used actually one of these larger shrimps. Technically, it should be the smaller shrimp. How does your family make their ceviche? So my family typically, well, it depends on what mood they're in. It could be, it oh. could be fish, uh -huh. like you have here, yeah. which is kind of the norm. Yes. But then if you want to do the shrimp, we prefer the small shrimp, not the large shrimp. Okay. You have the tomato, you have the, the, the red onion, and the cilantro, and then the lime, and a little bit of salt. That's really it. Keep it very basic. Make nice. sure that you marinate it along, you know, like either overnight mm -hmm. so that it cooks really the well. The juices like just concentrate, right? They just right? concentrate, they, they get, you know, they add the flavor to the meat. How close is this hitting home? Let's try. Oh. It has a light feeling to this one. Mm -hmm. It's very heavy based on lemon. Yep. I could really just taste the acidity of it all. Yep. It's very interesting. What do you <laughs> it's very interesting. It's, you can feel, there's more lime in that one than in the shrimp. There's, yes. Definitely. So that one just, when you bite it, you just like, oh, like, just like, straight like, whoa. <laughs> so in this case, I would probably suggest a little bit of salt, just to kind of offset, I, I offset agree. The, uh, <laughs> the lime. Mm -hmm. If I were to pick one right now. Shrimp is winning. Even though I don't, for the, the tostada with the larger shrimp, okay. I'd probably say that the tostada with the shrimp is a lot better in a yes. sense because it's not so overpowering with mm -hmm. the lime. Yeah, I mean, let's just enjoy now and then you're gonna see the other ceviches, so get ready and... We just arrived here at Don Pistos. We just got our ceviche here. That's really cool, as you can tell. 
It's a little bit different. So we have aguachile ceviche. What's really cool about this is they added prawns here. What's different is they also added uh, avocado. So in the other places that we had, they did not have avocado. And I can also tell you they have your diced tomatoes, your diced onions. Let's try with everything a little bit of the. Oh, my mouth is watering just like looking at this. Cheers. Okay. Ready? Okay, here we right, go. Let's do it. Very flavorful. This is by far one of the freshest okay. ceviches. This beef. My mouth is happy. Really smooth, refreshing. It won my heart because I like to, I love avocado. And I had this nice big chunky avocado right here. Oh man, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm happy. This is like ending my, my day so well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're at a hole in a wall. It's called Birria El Patio Restaurant. Did I pronounce it correct? You did. Yes. All right, guys. I was struggling trying to pronounce Birria. Can you say Birria? Fantastico. We have los tacos de birria. Birria typically is goat meat. People either like it or they don't. It's, it's very a potent flavor. It's like gamey. So, the alternative is. Uh, beef. So people have shifted to beef birria, and usually the the red color is going to be um, chile ancho, guajillo, to get that color on the meat right, here. right there, and that's the color that it gets. You can have it with consomme, which is the juice. People like to have it in a cup, yeah. uh, like a beef stew in a sense. But in this case, um, this is actually goat birria, which is a traditional. Yes. So this is what we'll try. So always have the limon, y'all. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right. Cheers. Ooh, okay. it's juicy too. <laughs> juicy, juicy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's try it. Ready? Go. Let's go. What do you think? Mmm. Mmm. Whoa, that is a rich flavor. Oh my gosh. This, this is, is delicious. This is juicy. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend. If you want media, if you never tried it, this hole in the wall, this place is amazing. So, so good. Mmm. Wow. It's not bad. Mm -mm. I'm going to enjoy this taco. So we'll see you in the next restaurant. All right, guys. So we are here at Tijuana restaurant. We just got the tacos and it smells Taquito. delicious. I didn't even try, but you could smell all the rich flavors. I'm super excited. And the tortilla is made here. Hecha manita, homemade. homemade. Mm -hmm. And we have the special secret recipe. Let's give it a shot. You need to add you need the lemon. You need the lemon. You need the lemon. You need the lemon. Look at this, guys. See, you want to make sure you get all those rich flavors. Meanwhile, look at this. Look at this. All right, we're gonna do the taste test. And it's it's heavy. It's heavy. There's a lot of meat. Vamos. Okay. Boom. Vamos. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Mm. Estilo Michoacán. These tacos, given that my parents are from Michoacán, I'm being a little bit biased. <laughs> okay, they're super delicious. So, and then not only that, so oh. we have we have the consomme, the juice from the meat. Add a little bit of um, onion. Okay. All right, and then you add some cilantro here. Okay. Okay, and you add your little uh, lime. Okay. Okay. This is what people say in Mexico, right? If you have a hangover. <laughs> Oh, and the special sauce. Don't forget the special sauce. You add the special sauce. It's a secret recipe. Typically in Mexico, maybe they had one or two many. Like me. <laughs> you have a little bit of consomme. Okay. And you would say this. Mm. Levanta muertos, eh? Levanta muerto. <laughs> that consomme will wake you up. Wow. It will take away your cruda. Basically a hangover. So that consomme, you have to try it. Oh my goodness, this is so delicious. If you want rich, flavorful food, you should yeah, come yeah, here. Right here. Media. The jump for people that don't like goat, I totally understand. But you know, it's this, okay to take that risk. This doesn't taste like goat. It does not. It does not taste like goat at all. It's, so. it, it, it's like it's like beef. And so mm -hmm. I highly recommend. This is this is amazing. This is amazing. I'm I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Homemade tortilla, you can't beat that. Yeah. It's very rare to find a restaurant that makes 
homemade tortillas. We're here with uh, Nicolás, the owner, and we are super excited. We're going to turn it around. Mi nombre es Nicolás Espinosa González y soy el dueño del restaurante y chef del restaurante Tijuana. Aquí hacemos la birria en Tijuana Restaurant en Oakland, California. La birria la hacemos, la hacemos al estilo Michoacán. En su olla vaporizada, dos horas, dos horas y media está el, el, el chivito listo. Cuando piden unos tacos, se calienta en una cazuelita con poquito aceite de oliva, se dora la carne, se pica y se echa en las tortillas con su cilantrito, cebolla y una salsa de jitomate. Y aparte le ponemos salsa brava de birria. Pruébelos y les va a encantar. Les invito a que nos visiten para que prueben. Por favor. Uh, we're going to wrap things up. Uh, first off, what do you think of the whole experience? I'm full. <laughs> I'm like having food coma like there's no tomorrow. I'm like seriously tired. <laughs> so the quest was to go find the best ceviche. The best ceviche and the best tacos de birria. The first one we went to was El Patio Mexi Mexican Birreria. Birreria. Yes. <laughs> Man, and the taco cost a dollar seventy-five cents. Other place that we went to was the Juana restaurant, and the taco cost four dollars and seventy-five cents. The first stop, the meat was good, mm -hmm. although I have to say that because the tortilla was not made mm -hmm. in location, yeah, that's kind of where you lost it. You have to have fresh tortillas with your birria. The tacos were good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were. They're they juicy. Were, they were good and they were excellent, yeah. but the tortilla that's, was that's missing. That's what kind of yeah. Now, mind you. When we went to Oakland, mm -hmm, Oakland. right? <laughs> you saw her facial expression. <laughs> Tijuana restaurant, mm -hmm. they had fresh tortillas made. Yes, they did. They had their special sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm a little bit biased because they made it from, you know, the recipe from Michoacan and my parents are from Michoacan and, you know, I can't help it. <laughs> the tortilla with the birria and the special sauce that they have, it just, it just took me home. Yeah. It took me home. I was like, oh my God, I'm eating my, my grandma's. Like, oh. <laughs> we asked the owner, Nicolás, do you have consomme? Because, you know, the birria, you put it in the, in the nice juice and everything. They, you have to have consomme. He went and asked the, one of, you know, one of the waiters, hey, bring us some consomme. So they brought it. Mm -hmm. And of course, brought the onion, brought the cilantro, and the we put limon. it in there. Mm -hmm. I put it in there. We put the special sauce and we try it. Game and over. I, it came over. I'm like, <laughs> done. That was my favorite. Tijuana restaurant in Oakland. Good. So, I have to go back. <laughs> I have to go back. It was uh, my first time ever actually having BDM. Just being educated on both the styles, I definitely felt really close to Tijuana restaurant. I like, tasted all the, the juices, the marination. It just, it felt great. El patio. Mm -hmm. uh, birria. La birria. Yeah, right. La, la. It was great. I would go there. Yeah, yes. I, I would go there. Like Especially if I was in San Jose, I would definitely hit that spot up. But I would have to give the winner to Tijuana restaurant. Uh, you guys were amazing. Now, ceviche. So the first place, uh, we went to San Jose called La Costa, and it cost $4.50. And we went on Pistos in San Francisco, and that was a whopping $15. Who won the best Mexican ceviche All in right. the Bay Area? So like you said, we went to La Costa in San Jose, off of Alum Rock. Yes. That's my go-to place, Okay. right? Yes. Um, it's, it's local. It, there, there's nothing in Santa Clara that I've seen, so I have to go to La Costa in San Jose. It's yes, good, but I'll yes. just leave it at that. It's just good. We went to Dos Pistos in San Francisco. Mind you, at this point, I'm full. She was upset. <laughs> she was like, I don't want to do this. I and, go um, home. I tried one guachile ceviche. Oh my gosh, it just... I even talking about it, like it's <laughs> bad. So like, the, the juices, it was so good, so mm -hmm. fresh, mm -hmm. so refreshing. I was full. Yeah. But I was like, okay, I can eat this. This is delicious. I will eat this. Listen, and she said she would stop eating, but then like five minutes after, she kept on eating. And I just said, quiet. She, you so, can't, you can't mess with the queen's food. You know, that's dangerous territory. So I was like, okay, I'll stay quiet. No, no, no. I was eating while he was talking to the. <laughs> oh, like, to the waiter, yeah. To the waiter, I was like, okay, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. <laughs> and I turned back. I was like, wait, there's none for me. And she was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. So the winner for me is dos pistos in San Francisco for ceviche. Yes. Definitely will come here again, and yes. that ended in a good note. Yeah, same page. Their ceviche made me feel refreshed. I was getting sleepy as well, and then after a few bites, I just woke up. Like, all this energy just came out of nowhere. I was like, I did not know food has this type of power. Mm -hmm. 
It was incredible. Guys, please, please, please subscribe. Share with all your friends. Please leave comments of where you want uh, us to go next. If you want to see a part two of uh, Mexican food here in the Bay Area, please let us know. We love you so much. <laughs> and we are off to go sleep. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. It was great. See you next time. Yes. Oh, and follow her right there. Link in the description below. No. Follow her, follow, follow, follow her. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>